Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, man. I hope y'all New Year started off right. And this video right here is basically talking to the players that got that got Madden for Christmas, that got Madden for New Year's, or that got Madden for the birthday. So basically, what I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you how to build a team like mine. Uh, as you guys can see, my I have a 94 overall offense, a 93 overall defense, and overall my team is a 93. Um, so this is I want to show you guys how to build a team like this. And before my team was basically very cheap, I spent no I spent no money on the game, and so I refuse to see another guy, another to see another person spend money on this game because this game is terrible for for more than one reason. So first off, I want to say, guys, you want to make sure you come to the foot pass. Uh, the foot pass is right here. It's basically leveling you up. As you guys can see, right there on the top right, I am at level fifty. I'm all the way up there. But this should be uh, resetting uh, around in 12 days. So basically what this is is that EA Sports give you objective in which you earn XP. And with those earning those XP, you get um, certain types of rewards. Uh, like this one, you get uh, for Christmas, you get a, a 85 volt zero chill play. Uh, a lively large present. A small present. Another 85. So basically all you guys, you guys, all you guys have to do is just come here. Look at the objectives. See what you have to do. You got to rush past 1,000 yards, pass for 500 yards, pass for 2,000, get five sacks, and all that good stuff. All you got to do is just follow those directions. You'll get the XP, and that XP going to go towards the foot pass, which helps you level up and get free stuff by just playing the game. So one thing I can say about Madden is if you don't want to play the game, um, you got to make sure you can play, uh, spend some time on it. And that's how I can say if you don't basically if you don't want to spend time on this, you pay. But if you if you really uh, don't want to give ear sports your hard earned cash, you, you spend some time on it if you have the time. But this is what I do, and this is what I think you guys should do. Always stay up to date with the foot pass. And also, uh, I would recommend a lot of people to play competitively, uh, to like to go to, to much champions because this is very hard. Uh, you get a lot of try hard Madden players that that does this mode. And uh, if you're not a decent player, they will eat you alive. No, I'm not even going to lie to you. They will eat you alive. Uh, this is the easiest part you could do. So as you guys can see, every time EA drops a promo in the game, promo is basically where you get new players in the game. Usually EA's press, um, once you get a promo, basically, um, this is the recent promo, the Zero Chill, which is the Christmas promo. Uh, as you guys can see, you go to Milestones. As you guys can see, this is all of the rewards. So as you guys can see right here, for reaching tier 3, you'll get yourself a 90 overall player. A 90 overall player for a guy that just started the game three days ago or even an hour ago is very decent. Even I myself going to come in here and do this on these source challenges. As you guys can see, by just completing this, this segment right here, all you have to do is get 120 stars. You'll be able to get yourself 490 overall cards for free by just spending a couple minutes. And basically, all of these should be very much easy. As you guys can see, I, I mainly complete most of it, most of it. But it's like EA Sports didn't give me no new solo challenges to finish it, right? There's no more. Okay, it seems like there's to be more. Uh, let me just click on one so you guys can see. Basically, it says scores a touchdown, pass for 30 yards, and rush for 20 yards. That is very easy because it is on arcade mode, so you basically can just do whatever you want to the computer. And once you go to the once you, once you get all those stars, you'll be able to get for your, yourself 490 overall players for free, without paying anything. To just get your team started, you know, uh, you just got the game, just trying to get in the game, you're trying to get, you're trying to play. Uh, as you guys can see again, the same, just a different segment right underneath this one. You co you come to this one, and there's another segment. Once you come here, you check it. This one says you'll get yourself a 92 overall player, a 92. Which is all very decent. I have a couple 92s on my team. Um, so that's why I say this is one way you can start. By just completing a foot pass. Uh, doing all of these sword challenges and legends. As you guys can see. Uh, ESports drop old players. that uh, They call them legend. And every week you complete. You'll get yourself a token. And which you can use to get yourself a free 95 overall. And these right here give you 92s and 94s. Uh, as you get, um, if as you go, as you go further into the weeks, they'll give you um, bad, bigger and better uh, cards. So if you complete all 19, I can guarantee yourself you probably have a full complete team. But they're gonna be lower overalls like 82s, 84s, 87s, 85s. 
Um, definitely you can build your team by just coming in here and doing this. Definitely, cause you you'll get two cards for each season. Uh, for each week, week one you'll get. Uh, week one doesn't work. So for week two you'll get you'll get yourself uh some players. You'll get yourself an eighty two. Oh, you get yourself an eighty two. At week five you get an eighty three. Uh, at week eight you'll get an eighty four. Uh, but that's for each week though. I'm just telling you when the level changes. Uh, at week eleven you'll get an eighty five. At week fourteen you'll get an eighty six. At week 17, you'll get an 87. You'll get two because you know, if they'll always release two legends. As you guys can see, Tony Gonzalez and DeMarcus Ware. So you'll get the 87 overall with Tony Gonzalez and the 87 overall DeMarcus Ware. Um, and then boom. Right now, they're maxed out at 87. So now, once you've finished all these sort of challenges, you'll come here, you get all these tokens, and then you can earn yourself any legend that you want. Um, myself, I'm waiting for the legends to get a little bit better, so that's why I've been I've been hanging on to my to my stuff. But just to show you guys that I did do it, I'm just not gonna do it. As you guys can see, I have all my tokens, everything is in the check. All I have to do is miss is add the two, and both of them is in my binder right here. I just I'm just waiting to see if they got anything more exclusive for me. And then let me show you all the legends, uh, the overalls. I like you can go from any overall of the legends, you'll be able to receive one all the way up to a 95. Uh, the the uh, the legends usually ends at 96. So, right here, as you guys can see, okay, they only showed you. See, they're going 95 right here. See, these, these 95 right here, you are able to get all of these 95 right here, except for the one that says LTD, like uh, this, uh. This Marvin Henson, you won't be able to get him. This Christian Court, you won't be able to get him. But you will be able to get Bruce Smith, T uh, Rodney Lott, uh, who else? Uh, the 95 overall. Let's go to the 95 overall. Basically, you should never pick somebody under the 92s. Uh, but you can pick anybody here that you want. Eric Campbell, John, uh, not John Lynch, though. Uh, you can pick. Where are they? Why are only the LTVs up right now? You, you can pick Rodney Lott. You can pick Tony Gonzalez on uh, the center right here, Bill Romanowski right here, Randall Cunningham right here, and go down to the 84s. You can pick any of those cards that you would like, anyone that floats your boat, Ty Law, all you guys. By just doing the sword challenges, guys, you can help build your team or build your legend team from there if you decide that's what you want to do. Uh, but if you are just a new player, this is where you should start. You should start with the sword challenges, just get them out of the way. Uh, ESports is going to start you there. Every Every segment gives you free players. Uh, I, as you guys can see, I, if you go through all of them, I did all of them. Uh, even for the things given promo, you get yourself some free players. You get yourself an uh, 88 overall, uh, 80, 80 plus. You'll get yourself a lot of free stuff. You just come in here and get and do all of this. This will help you build your team. Right here, all of these sort of challenges. And then the next thing you want to do is, um, if you need to complete your competitive pass, uh, which is let me show you how to do it the competitive pass So basically what you do to get the competitive pass is champions as you guys can see you got you play 25 games um, You play 25 games on online and nine times out of ten bro These players are kind of overmatched except for the first couple of games. They're kind of uh, cheap right now as You guys can see I'm currently 9 and 0 so I play nine game. I won all of them I gotta go all the way down to 25 at the bottom right corner as you guys can look I got a 125, but if you don't want to go this route where it is much more difficult uh, to get that, you're gonna go go over here to the to solo battles. You can get you can do solo battles, guys. Uh, where you play against the computer, you can you, you get to choose the difficulty that you want it on. You can have a legendary. Let's see if I can start one for you guys. Uh, okay, not allowing me to. Oh, that's because it's over. I can't show you guys because right now because it's currently over. Uh, but every Monday, these resets. So, you can play solo battles to just get you the extra boost that you need. If you need the extra uh, extra CP, they call it CP. Okay, I think it's back now. So, you can pick yourself as a rookie, pro, uh, veteran, all-star, MVP, and legends. So, this is how you get yourself uh, some, play, uh, some, uh, some easy games just to play it uh, to get... To, to get the competitive pass and why do you need a competitive pass because the competitive pass will also help you with your zero chill even though it, it, it's not supposed to be zero chill it's going to change to i think what full pass i think it changes to a full pass 
Uh, so this right here is going to help you get a, a crazy amount of XP. As you guys can see, I'm almost done. I'm on, I'm at level 25. All I got to do is win a couple games, and I'll be right there. So as you guys can see here, this is very much everything you can get. You can get yourself a red zone pack. You can get yourself a lot of players, a 92 overall player, a rare strategy item. So all of these stuff right here will help you build your team, have some fun in the game, and enjoy the game. So that is how I take the time out to... To explain to you guys how you guys can come in here, build your team without paying you to support your hard earned cash by just doing sword challenges, following the foot pass, and going to solo battles and get your free uh training, bro. And also, eSports is currently not in the office right now, they should be coming back tomorrow or the day after. If you are not able to log on, you should be able to log on by uh Friday. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure, and I don't work for EA Sports. So on Friday, you should be able to log on. I'm not. Don't hold me to that because I'm probably going to be wrong. So you guys go ahead and enjoy. Follow the steps on how you can build your team for free. Let me know in the comments if this video was very helpful to you guys. And we're going to roll to 1,000 with 2,1K, man. My guy out. Peace.